A lot of you folks have been asking for more tips and how-to information. Here's a quick tip that you guys can use when recycling or salvaging window trim, door trim, moldings, or baseboard. A lot of times when you're removing trim, you want to reuse it for whatever reason. Sometimes it's old trim that you can't buy anymore. You would have to custom mill on a machine, and that costs money to set up the knife and to, to have it done. So you want to take the, the crown molding off or the casing off and reuse it. What I usually do is, I, before I remove it, I take a utility knife and I cut along the edges to cut the caulking and paint lines. That allows you to take it off a little bit easier. Then I'll use a putty knife uh, to protect the wall and a finish pry bar and gently pry the trim along the length of it to, to pull it off and to eventually get it off of the wall. Once it's off the wall, you've got to deal with the nails that are sticking out of it. And that's where the quick tip comes in. A lot of people think that you just bang the nail back through the face of the wood and that's not a good idea. One, you'll end up with more nails, double the nail holes than when you're done, when you refasten this. And two, as you bang those nail heads out, you're going to blow out chunks of wood, chunks of putty paint. It's going to be a mess. It'll take longer to finish. Your painter will hate you. What I do is I pull the nails from the back and I basically use a pair of end nippers like these channel locks and you just basically put it up, put the end nippers against the wood, clamp down on it, and rock the nail out from the back side. So you're pulling the nail out from the back side. Nothing happens to the front face. It still stays painted and perfect. It's a quick tip for you guys if you're doing some remodeling or, or uh, finished trim and you're reusing trim. I'm Rob Roblox. If you like the video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks a lot. Take care.